We have looked at finding averages before, but today we're going to be looking at finding weighted averages. Weighted averages are used when certain things are worth more than others when finding an average. A great example of this is when someone takes a test during a class. Sometimes the test will be worth more of the student's grade than, say, daily homework. This would be a great example of when you need to focus more on your test scores than on your daily homework assignments to still get a good grade in the class. Please click on the link in the description down below if you'd like to be able to follow along with this question as well as find some extra examples, extra practice problems, and the answers to those problems. In our first example, John completed his daily homework this week in social studies and received the following grades. 89, 78, 90, 85, and 84. On Friday, he also took a test and scored a 95. John's teacher told him at the beginning of class that tests would be worth 75% of his grade and daily assignments would be worth 25% of his grade. What is John's overall grade for this week in class, rounded to the nearest percent? To solve this problem, we need to get an average for John's daily grades. So remember to find an average, you need to add together all of your numbers and then divide by however many numbers there were. So here we'll need to add 89 plus 78 plus 90 plus 85 plus 84. Take that total and divide it by 5. In this example, his average for just those daily assignments is 85.2. To find out his weighted score for all grades, we take his raw scores convert them to decimals, and multiply them times how much they are worth, also as decimals. Remember from the problem that John's daily assignments are worth 25%. So the first thing we'll need to do is turn that 25% into a decimal so we can do some operations with it. Remember that 25% changes to 0.25 as a decimal. We need to do the same thing for his raw score of 85.2% and change that to a decimal, being 0.852. We need to take both of those decimal numbers, the amount that the assignments were worth, and multiply them times how much he made on those assignments. So you need to take 0.25 times 0.852 and get 0 0.213. The next step will be to convert both the test scores amount and the amount that the test scores were worth from percentages over to decimals. From the question we know that the test scores are worth 75% of John's grade. So when we convert 75% to a decimal we need to get 0 0.75. And also from the problem we saw that John scored a 95% on his test so that changes to 0 0.95. And just like before, we need to multiply those two decimals, 0.75 times 0.95, to get his weighted score of 0 0.7125. To finish this problem up, we just have to take those two weighted scores, 0 0.213, and add it to the 0 0.7125 to get a total of 0 0.9255. We need to change that back from a decimal to a percent by moving the decimal point two places to the right, changing it to 92.55%. And don't forget that from the problem, we were asked to round this to the nearest whole percent. So 92.55% rounds up to 93% as his final grade. Again, don't forget to check the link in the description down below to find this word problem and other practice problems that you can work out. I've also provided the answers to those questions in the link as well. If you have any questions, please let me know either here in a comment down below or on the link that I've provided. If you found this video helpful, please like it and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest videos. Thanks for watching.